In July last year, one month after taking up office, Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell gave his commitment to a timeline of December 31, 2022 to put forward a proposal to the region outlining the way forward for regional travel. I, I'm happy to indicate that, in fact, while in St. Lucia uh, last Friday, uh, OECS heads um, would have had a caucus and we recommitted uh, to redoubling our efforts to addressing the issue of regional uh, transportation. Uh, we have a follow-up call with the Caribbean Development Bank uh, for the 2nd of August. Um, and so we really are hoping that by the end of the year, we can come to our citizens with concrete proposals as to how we intend to address this issue. According to a release from the Caribbean Development Bank, Prime Minister Mitchell and other heads of government from Antigua and Barbuda Barbados, Guyana, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines reached out to the bank for assistance to examine and address airlift capacity challenges. Responding to their request, the CDB Board of Directors approved a technical assistance grant to the tune of U.S. $350,000 to go towards developing interim arrangements to address the crisis. The CDB will finance consultancy services, which will devise urgent provisional measures to re-establish regular air transport services within the sub-region. President of the CDB, Dr. Hygienist Jean Leon, said the CDB has embarked on decisive and integrated action to address the recent reduction in air transportation. To safeguard the region's future, governments need to take decisive and integrated action to reform the air transportation operating environment. These measures should include, one, rationalizing the regulatory environment and addressing factors that contribute to the high cost of travel. The void in regional air connectivity has emerged because of the collapse of LIAT, the main intra-island air carrier in the Eastern Caribbean in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic and its subsequently severe curtailment of services. Currently, LIAT operates 50 flights a week, 90% down from almost 500 flights weekly prior to its demise. The significantly reduced airlift capacity has hindered the movement of goods, services and people to the disadvantage of tourism, trade, employment, business activity and social relations. The president also pointed out another unnecessary issue with regional air travel, which requires residents from some Caribbean islands to travel to the United States in order to access other Caribbean countries. We have a crisis, especially in parts of the region, where you cannot move from one country to the other without necessarily getting a visa to go through the U.S. as a connecting point. So a young kid or young adult, 20, 22 years, looking to move from one country to the next, has to get approval of a visa to enter through the United States, even if there is no business in the United States. The technical assistance grant was approved by the CDB board at a meeting on December 9, 2022. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.